mighty one hey, chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. yes, indeed, fellows, and I dare say we have here some rather exciting news concerning Super Smash Brothers and new characters, don't we, old chap? We most certainly do, old chap, yes, indeed. Very exciting news. As you may know, Nintendo said a few days ago that they were going to be announcing another character. Now, they implied there would only be one character, and many people speculated it was Shulk due to a certain dev retweeting the announcement tweet, but it seems that that was a bluff, and this trailer really has blown the lid off because they have announced no less than three new characters for Smash Brothers. Yes, but it was in a very exciting and action-packed trailer. The F-Zero racing hero Captain Falcon, along with Lucina and Robin, both from Fire Emblem Awakening, were revealed, you know. They most certainly were, yes indeed. All three characters. Not just one, but three. So it's a big, big announcement. Now at first it looked as though Chrome was also in, but it seems not, because he was in the trailer, you see. That's right, in a way, Chrome very much uh, still on the table. Perhaps we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, in the meantime, what we do know is Robin in the Fire Emblem Awakening game was the player's avatar character, was he not, old chap? Uh, yes, he most certainly was. Named and customised according to the player's liking. He could use both sword and tone based attacks in the game, making him a very powerful character, and meaning he often had an advantage when fighting nearly every class of enemy unit. He could also learn the Rally Spectrum skill, which provided a large boost to nearby friendly units. That's right, old boy. Now, in this game, Super Smash Brothers, Robin, like his awakening self, can use the Levin Sword, Thunder, El Thunder, Thunder, Arc Thunder and Thor on the Mighty Lightning Strike. He can also use Arc Fire, El Wind and Nosfera 2. Now interestingly, we actually somewhat predicted Nosfera 2 when we said that a certain Fire Emblem character might be able to use that attack in Smash Brothers, didn't we, old boy? We most certainly did, we mentioned it, so there we are. There you go, but it indeed. Now also, Robin, it seems, can only use the tomes so many times, and it seems he has his Levin sword for backup, you know. It most certainly does. So we're talking about the Robin within Smash Brothers now. He's got all those attacks. But when they run out, they run out. So presumably have to recharge or something. Well, we don't know. We'll have to see whether perhaps they'll be rechargeable or only once per life. Because, of course, in the Fire Emblem games, once a tome breaks, that's it. It's broken. And if you haven't used the Hermione staff, you don't get it back, of course. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out in Smash Brothers. Now, what about the Exalt's daughter, old chap? Ah, yes. Now, none other than Lucina. Now, Lucina's moves appear to be very similar to Mars, and some have said she's a clone. Well, indeed, perhaps an alt outfit or similar. Now, it did have a question mark under her name in the entry frame, and also she doesn't have a large full new character portrait, unlike other newcomers on the Smash site. Well, indeed, so, you know, perhaps, perhaps not, or indeed, I, I dare say, there is a chance she could be her own unique character, but I dare say I did see her using somewhat similar moves to Marth in that initial intro trailer, so we'll have to wait and see, and time will tell whether or not she's her own unique fighter, or whether she's a clone of the hero King Marth. Yes, I noticed that as well, and as you say, time will tell, but it looks like the character's certainly going to be in the game in some way, for sure. That's right, and now what about poor old Crom, old chap? Well, it looks like Crom's not going to have a personal appearance, but he's going to be part of Robin's final smash. He certainly seems he will appear as part of Robin's final smash, with his cut-in portrait appearing uh, in the final smash attack there, in a reference to Fire Emblem Awakening. Also, another point of note is you can play as the female tactician, or female Robin, if you wish. Yes, which has a rather interesting element. Now, are you getting someone, old chap? Oh, how could we forget the man himself? Show me your moves! Uh, precisely. Show Cap me your moves! Captain Falcon, fellas, yes. is in, obviously, my word. Now, personally, I mained Captain Falcon in Smash Brothers Brawl and became fairly good with him, if I say so myself. His moves in Brawl were quite weak, and actually, he was among the worst characters in that game. His strengths were in his jab, a uh, jab-grab combo, up air, back air, and, of course, knee of justice, among others, although his lack of projectile, his very very low move priority and his bad grab distance meant that he couldn't compete with the best fighters. Actually, Marth was far above him in the tier list and proved quite a tricky foe. Yes, he was, but in this trailer, we see the captain fighting hand to hand and arguably on the upper hand with both Lucina and Krom at the same time. So perhaps Nintendo have given him that much needed buff for the proper Falcon status. We'll have to wait and see. I do hope Captain Falcon does rise a few spaces in the tier list. In fact, I hope he goes to the top, old chap. But indeed, we'll have to see just what the balancing team can come up with. Captain Falcon being, of course, a very popular character, and no doubt many fans will be very excited to see once more the pilot in blue in Super Smash Brothers. Most certainly, and looking at the trailer, we can see they're certainly playing up his power, so I think he's going to pack a big punch. Uh, uh, yes, quite literally, old chap. Wait. And of course, Lucina did herself say, what is this power, of course? So indeed, focusing on the captain's strengths there, and I, I do hope they will be reflected in gameplay. Let's find out, old chap. 
Certainly so big announcements with three main characters coming straight into the field of play. That's right, I dare say this has to have been one of the largest and most exciting revealed trailers yet. But what do you think, Velios? And of course, importantly, who do you think's next? My goodness, Velios, these characters, of course, bring quite a new spectrum to the roster of Smash Brothers fighters. We have a character with limited ammunition for his ranged attacks, being, of course, Robin. Now, yes. we haven't seen that sort of concept before in Super Smash Brothers, other than Olimar, of course. All of the ranged attacks that are the standard special moves of characters have been unlimited in terms of the amount of times you can use them. Yes, that's rather interesting. So Robin to me seems to be a powerful but also strategic character. Which is very fitting of course for his appearance because he is after all the tactician in the Fire Emblem Awakening game. Now indeed as you said earlier Lucina is very much a bit of a mysterious character at the moment. We don't yet know if she's going to be her own sword fighting character or whether she will be a clone or perhaps an alternate costume for Marth. Now it appears indeed she's going to have her own voicing so I think she definitely will appear in some capacity in her own way although perhaps this time she might just be a voice alter of mouth but that is of course very much still up for discussion we don't know exactly how she's going to turn out in the final game as of course then for Captain Falkland he I dare say is looking rather good in this new Smash Brothers I think wouldn't you say old chap? Oh he looks absolutely spiffing yes indeed and a very powerful character I think I think the nerfing in Brawl is out the window and this is going to be a very formidable character in fact all of these characters are shaping up to be extremely competitive. Yes, that's right. I think we may see a return to the melee days for Captain Falcon when, of course, he was quite high on the tier list and quite a force to be reckoned with, unlike his brawl self, which really was a shadow of his melee appearance. Certainly. Now, with all of the other characters we've already covered, it's very hard at this stage, anyway, to tell whether any of these characters are going to have special advantages or overpowered in any way. That's right, of course, as someone, I believe, said in our comments once, if they're all overpowered, it's badness, you'll say, so there is that to think about, and indeed, it'll just be a matter of time and experimentation, but before those tier lists and strategies start cropping up in the community to find out exactly where the balance of power lies. I agree with you. And of course, as you said earlier, is this it for the lineup or are there more to come? Well, I think, oh boy, we're not quite done yet. It is most exciting, the prospect of even more characters. Although I think for now, certainly this has generated an awful lot of hype and many people will be rather more interested in this game right now, I dare say. Yes, but what about Meta Knight? We haven't seen him yet. He could be the best of them all. Well, yes, we haven't seen Meta Knight. That's a good point, old chap. Although I think the beast must be nerfed if he appears this time. Surely, old boy, he was just so overpowered last time, you know. Well, certainly, we'll have to see what they do if they do anything with him. Yes, indeed, but time will tell, fellas. I dare I'll say this has been Game Chap and Bertie with quite an in-depth analysis and discussion of the latest Super Smash Bros. developments. Do stay tuned for more exciting Nintendo news, I say. We look forward to seeing you then. Until then!